Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert's Porch. I'm your host, Robert. All right, GCW Touch the Sky from Gillies in Dallas, Texas. Show happened on Friday night, February 23rd. Like I've done with every single GCW show, 2023, 2024, they've all been reviewed right here on the Robert's Porch Show. So definitely go back out and check the archive. 2023, we have the best of 2022 in January. Second, I believe it was. In June, we had the first half of 2023. This past January, we had the best of 2023. We reviewed every single show as well. And we're going to keep that going here with GCW Touch the Sky. So, first match, six person tag match SC Cunt, one called Manders, Effie, Sawyer Wreck, taking on Jordan Cruz, Carrie Wright, and Max Hyde. Heights, less than 10 minutes. Good match, three stars. SC Cunt getting the victory. We then we turn and transition to a, another trios match. Uh, one of my favorite luchadors, Oni Lobendito, teaming up with Microman and Aramis, taking on Los Desperados, Gringo Loco, Latigo, and Toxin. A Lucha Libre classic. Um, some of the best luchadors in North America in this match did not disappoint. 14 and a half minutes, three and a half star match. Los Desperados, Gringo Loco, Latigo, and Toxin getting the victory. Um, next up, we had <laughs> Broski Jimmy going up against uh, Billy Starks. Broski Jimmy had classes from uh, Matt Cardona on how to be a Broski. He's not doing it right, according to Matt Cardona. Uh, we need to go back to old Jimmy and Jimmy fucking Lloyd, but this Broski Jimmy crap is to just that crap. Thank God, six minutes into this match, Billy Starks kicked his ass and got the victory. Ended up giving it two and a half star with Billy Starks getting the victory there. Um, actually, one of my favorite matches, story wise, it really wasn't. But overall, just the genre of it, we had the Bollywood Boys, Gerb Shira and Harv Shira, taking on Garbage Daddies, Alec Price and Cole Radrick. For some reason, this match just didn't click for me. Um, it was two minutes, ten and a half minutes long. I ended up giving it two and three quarter star with the Garbage Daddies, Alec Price and Cole Radrick, the Ready Daddy, getting the victory. I was expecting more out of this. Um... But next up, we got more. Jacob Fatu, Zilla Fatu, uh, was announced that they, along with Los Macisos, the Bollywood Boys, and Violence is Forever at Joey Janela's Clusterfuck on WrestleMania weekend, a Pujabi prison match. So I'm actually interested to see how they're able to use the term Pujabi Prison Match because I thought that was copyrighted by WB. Maybe they let the copyright expire. I don't know, but that's going to be hell of fun. Um, that's going to be one of those shows that's on at 11.59 Eastern Time. <laughs> so those are one of those shows you got to stay really late to watch on WrestleMania weekend. Um, but we're going to review every single show like we did the last couple of years for WrestleMania weekends. It's going to be a fun weekend. Uh, we might actually see the debut of Jacob Fatu and Zilla Fatu in the double, double E part of the bloodline. Um, I'm pretty confident at some point in time Jacob Fatu will be part of that, either on Team Rock or Team Roman side. But here they took on Los Macisos, Sicope, Medio Extremo. We had some door usage, we had some tape, we had some uh, chair usage, we had some door bridge usage, and the Fatus got the victory in three and three quarter star match. Next up, we had the power of Sam Stockhouse going up against the bad boy, Joey Janela. Overall, this match wasn't bad. Um, when it was first said the match was, I was like, ooh, don't know about this. Sam Stackhouse, uh, big boy. He can wrestle with the best of them, though. Two and three quarter star. Joey Janela getting a victory. Wasn't horrible. Wasn't over the top. It's just a good match. Next up, we have the GCW Tag Titles Online. Champions Violence Has Forever. Dominic Guarini and Kevin Koo 
defending those titles versus Monster Sauce. Alex Zane and Lance Archer. A tag team that we saw in New Japan, part of the uh, World Tag League. Um, Alex Zane we've seen quite a few times in GCW. I can't wait till we see Alex Zane versus Blake Christian for the GCW World Title. I would really want that match. Um, then the fact that these two were former friends. They've wrestled each other on multiple occasions. Well, the... Would love to see that match take place. Hopefully it does. But in this case, Violence is forever able to retain their tag titles. End up giving it three and a half. Next up, we had John Wayne Murdoch and Pagano. They stapled each other quite a bit. Uh, when you staple somebody in the gonads, you're a badass. <laughs> but you know what? John Wayne Murdoch, one of the Deathmatch death kings out there. Um, yeah, Pagano the same way. Two guys, a little bit of pain didn't stop him. But John Wayne Murdoch getting a victory in a three and a half star match. Next up, the GCW World Title Line champion Blake Christian taking on Fugo del Sol. Um, almost 27 minutes, these two went at it. Overall, good match. Not spectacular. Um, I ended up giving it three and a half with Blake Christian getting the victory. Um, Fugo del Sol, to me, was just almost there. All right, the main event in a Texas ball rope match. You can't have a match in show in Texas without a Texas ball rope match. But this was a unique Texas ball rope match. We had Mance Warner, Mancer, second, formerly known with Second Gear Crew, going up against Alley Catch, one half of Bussy, friends with Effie, part of the Second Gear Crew. They're all one big happy family until Mancer turned on Effie and all hell broke loose. Now we had doors involved, chairs involved, um, skiers involved. At one point you had Mance with a, just a bundle of skiers just hit him, hit him in the head of Alley Catch. You had Alley Catch doing the same thing. You had door bridges. You had Effie come out at one point and just try to distract Mancer. Effie and Mancer got into it. Um, Alley Catch got tried to attack Mancer. She got hit in the head with a pair of scissors from. So Mancer had the scissors, was going to hit uh, Alley Catch with it. Effie ended up trying to get him away. He ended up hitting Alley Catch with it, and he handcuffed Effie to the ring, ring, ring ropes. Alley Catch was able to get away from him, and then they brawl a little bit. He has the scissors, hits her with the scissors a couple times. He ends up leaving, coming back, and then all hell broke loose with these two. This match ended up in a no contest, which like a lot of their matches have recently. But we know when we finally get Effie and Mancer, it's got to be in a cage. It's got to be something just so just beyond grasp of a normal match that for these two to end this is going to be almost a blood feud when it's all said and done. But the locker room empties, stops Mancer from hitting Alley Catch or Effie with the scissors again. 23 and a half minutes, a no contest. I ended up giving it three and a quarter. Um, I don't like a lot of no contests like this, but it was overall good just because of the history they have and then just kind of keep moving forward with it and changing different parts of it. But eventually we're going to get Effie versus Mance Warner, probably Cage or something like that. So it's going to be kind of into that blood feud. But this was GCW Touch the Sky. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show. And don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports content.